Okay, here we have uh, sheep brain. We're going to go through, again, the list, just as from top to bottom. Uh, this is a whole brain with the meningeal layers on it. So the meninges are the outer layers um, covering the brain. And this white layer is the dura mater. Underneath that are two other layers, the arachnoid mater and the pia mater. Um, and when you take that off, they're still on there and they're very thin, but that's you just need to know the order of them. <coughs> The large lobe in the front that's very folded is your cerebrum, and it is split into two cerebral hemispheres and separated by the cerebral um, longitudinal cerebral fissure. Okay, and then you have two lobes um, which control the olfactory region. These are the olfactory bulbs. And then on the cerebrum, you have um, folds and um, valleys here, I guess. The folds, the raised portion, are the gyri, and then the um, wrinkles are the sulci. Okay, then when we split the brain in half, there's a lot of structures um, within the brain that we're going to identify. The first is the corpus callosum, and I think it looks like an upside-down Nike sign. And then you have the piriform lobe, which is a lobe on the cerebral hemisphere, this big one on the side. Okay, um, below the uh, cerebrum, you have the cerebellum, and it also has regions, the big um, raised portion in the middle is called the, full, the vermis, and then the raised portions on the sides are called the folia. And if you split it in half, it also has cerebellar, cerebellar hem hemispheres, so this is the right cerebellar hemisphere. Okay, again, um, and I'll switch to this one. Uh, the big structure in the middle here is called the thalamus. Below the thalamus is called the hypothalamus. And then the structure connecting the hypothalamus to the hypothesis or the pituitary gland is called the infundibulum. Um, and then the optic nerve forms an X. Um, I'll show you on here. You can vaguely see it there, but it still has the meninges on it. But the the one going to the left eye comes from the right hemisphere, so it, they cross each other. And chiasm means X, so the optic chiasma is those two nerves as they cross each other. Okay, so then this is one optic nerve, and this is the optic tract going to the eye. This is still has an eye attached to it. All right, this has the, the uh, pituitary gland removed, but the infundibulum would be right there. Below the infundibulum, then, are two raised portions called the mammal mammal uh, mammillary bodies. And then we showed you the thalamus before and the hypothalamus. The epithalamus is then the roof of the thalamus. And it includes uh, this structure, the epithalamus. Sorry, the pineal gland is part of the epithalamus. And also the telechoroidea, which is these kind of spider web uh, connecting tissue between your cerebral hemisphere and the cerebral or sorry, the corpora quadrigemina. We'll get that get to that in a second. So then the thalamus, again, is this big ball in the middle, and uh, the ball there is called the intermediate mass. Okay, and then you have the tectum, which is made of your corpora quadrigemina. The easiest way to find it is to pull the 
cerebellum and the cerebrum apart, and you can see those two raised portions there make up the corpora quadrigemina. The superior one is superior colliculi, and the inferior one is the inferior colliculi. From the side, this is what they look like. So this is superior and inferior colliculi. Okay, and when you get to the brainstem, you have the pons, which is this raised portion here. And the medulla oblongata is this region here. Okay, and then going back to the corpus callosum, you have different structures within it. On the anterior portion, you have the genu. And on the posterior region, you have the splenium. And then the underneath those is the fornix. Okay, and then you have a structure that separates. You have one on the right, one on the left, and that's called the septum pellu pellucidum, and you can see part of it's still there, but most of it has been removed. Okay, uh, the cerebral peduncle then is below the mammillary body. Mammillary body, this is the cerebral peduncle. And then you have um, spaces filled with fluid. I'm going to go through those. This, within the, uh, what's the septum pellucidum is separating are the two lateral ventricles here. Uh, and then you have the third ventricle here and the cerebral aqueduct, which connects the third and fourth ventricle. And then once you get to the spinal cord, after the medulla, uh, this is the central canal. Um, this structure here that looks like a tree is called the arbor vitae. It looks like branches. And let's see what else. Okay, this is the sheep eye, and we're going to go through dissecting it and um, pointing out all the structures as we do so. Uh, the first structure is called the sclera, and that is the fibrous connective tissue part of the eye, or the white part. And it is going to be the tough external white layer. Okay, the, con the conjunctiva is the eyelid part, holds the skin of the eyelid there. When you get conjunctivitis, that's the part that, that gets infected. Um, and then this external surface, this is usually clear, but the preservative makes it cloudy. This is the cornea. That's where light enters the eye. Okay, so, um, and then in the back here, you have the optic nerve. So that's what connects them to the brain and sends impulses to and from the brain. Okay. You also have, you can see, the extrinsic eye muscles here. These are muscles, and these are what move the eyeball, you know, so you can look to the left and to the right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it open and look at the inside. And there is a softer part right here. You can feel kind of the difference between the chambers. I'm just going to poke through right here. Okay. And you'll see there's there'll, there will be some fluid that will start to seep out. Okay, so we're finishing cutting around the eye. And when you open it up, you can see that there is fluid in the eye and there's this gelatinous fluid. Okay. This is the vitreous humor. And you can see that ball there, that is the lens, so that is what is used to focus the light. Um, and then the vitreous body then is the area that holds the vitreous humor. Okay, so we're going to take that out, just put it to the side. Um, you also have ligaments that attach the, the lens to the side of the eye. Um, and... Uh, I can't see them, but there are ligaments there. Um, 
do we have next? Okay, within here. So from the cornea to where um, the lens is, that is called the anterior chamber. And then from the lens to the uh, vitreous chamber is called the posterior chamber. So you have two chambers right next to each other. And uh, the muscle surrounding the lens here, this is called the ciliary body. And you can see there's a bunch of ridges. It kind of looks like a bunch of cilia. Okay. There's another muscle, though, that will contract and relax and allow um, light within the eye. And that is called the iris. And that's the colored part of the eye. That's what makes your eyes blue or brown or whatever. Um, the hole, then, created by the contraction or the relaxation of the iris is called the pupil. Okay, um, and then, then on the back, so the sclera is the white part that we talked about before, the fibrous connective tissue layer. Then you have two other layers. The retina is this whitish area. And then the choroid coat is the layer behind it. You can also see there is a, it's kind of shiny back there, very reflective. That is the tapetum lucidum, and that will help reflect light even when it's dark. So humans don't have this, but dogs, sheep have this. And that's why if you shine a flashlight into their eyes at night, it will shine back at you. And that is all of the eye structures you need to know.